Hello everybody, I'm Jess Spellior, this is Waffles, and it's the last day of June! Happy last day of June, everybody! <laughs> We're going to play this game! <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long, so, so long, oh my gosh. Hello, Breezy! Hello, Sav, how you doing? Umi, hello! Nika, hello! Yes, last day of June, because it's the last day of June. Fitting, right? Breezy, I had fun with you last night too. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> I can't remember how to play Mario Kart now though. I've been playing so much Crash Team Racing that all of my Mario Kart skills have like gone out the window. <laughs> it's gonna take some time to get back to it. Whoo! Whoo! So I feel like I sounded like a pigeon just there. I am really thrilled to play this game. Um it's an indie game, it's really niche. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if many of you haven't heard of it before. It's actually a video game that is based or inspired by and kind of based on uh, a story that was created and then turned into a music video and a song by my favorite artist, Stephen Wilson. Oh my gosh. He is a prog rock uh, artist, songwriter guy. Um, although he kind of eschews the whole prog rock genre, it's a big thing, but, <laughs> but it's really exciting because his music is really influential to my life and, uh, there's a whole video game about it now and it's amazing. So when we play this game, we're going to be able to hear a lot of the influences of his songs because he has done like every song in the soundtrack. It's amazing. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. And like this, it's, it's going to be tragic. I'm going to cry. I'm going to be bawling throughout this stream. <laughs> Just watching the trailer makes me tear up. So let's see how this goes. Who are we on it? There we go. There we go. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having like a really awesomely fantastic weekend. Steven Wilson. Yeah. Steven Wilson. Shout out. Thank you, Saf. From Porcupine Tree. I know. Umi, you know who Porcupine Tree is? Porcupine Tree is my absolute favorite. And Steven Wilson's behind that. And he has his own solo ventures and a lot of other group project stuff. But this is uh, based on his music video for Drive Home from his album, The Raven Who Refused to Sing. Love it. Yes. Porcupine Tree. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into, honestly. So I think we're just going to begin the story. Let me know if the volume is, is, uh, needs to be adjusted. Oh, look at these colors. Whew. I can already hear the song. I know the song. She's cold. Is her sweater in the car? Okay, I guess we're gonna go. I know she's so chilly. Hugs, hello. The game is no longer relevant because then it's no longer the last day of June. Ah! <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Hugs? At least we're starting when it's uh, still the last day of June for you, you know? <sighs> you didn't know about this. Umi, it's so exciting. Aww. She's so chilly. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you, June. Her name is June. I don't know if we're going to get to that yet. Oh. Wait, can I give her this flower? Would you like a flower? Oh, I'm like walking off the dock. Oh. Oh, she likes it! What's she drawing? Their eyes are missing. I think it's the art style. But yes, it's a little creepy. <laughs> I want to give her this one too. It's purple. I like know enough about the premise, considering the fact that it's called the last day of June and she's June. And like, I just don't want to leave her right now. I like the purple. I think it's suiting. Isn't it so pretty in her hair? Oh, I 
keep getting like stuck here. So it's, this is a really bizarre axis because it's not pure. Can I just like get a bouquet? It's not like purely uh, like forward, back, left, right. It's like you have to be using both. Like if this is just straight forward, which I guess I can do, but like I'm going through grass. What's this over here? Oh, I'm leaving June. Okay, I just... She's cold. She needs her sweater. Let's get her sweater. <laughs> hey, dude! How you doing? How's it going today? I know. Enjoy the time you have. I know already. I just want to, like, ball. You're playing this next week? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm so excited. You'll have to let me know. If I don't get a chance to see it, you'll have to let me know what you think of it. The music and everything about this is inspired by my favorite artist of all time, Stephen Wilson. I cannot wait. I can't wait to play this. I can't wait to have everyone know about this game. There's flowers everywhere. Wait, did I not get the sweater? Why didn't I get the sweater? <laughs> Best thing. <laughs> oh, me. Wait, wait, I didn't get the sweater. Why didn't I get the sweater? Where'd it go? What happened? Oh, okay. Ah. Music by Steven Wilson! There we go. I needed to go into the right side of the car. That's all. They're trying to distract me. I'm trying my best to be a good boyfriend. And to be a good nature conservationist and not walk in the grass. <laughs> Love your faces! You're yours too, dude! I've been wanting to play this game forever. We're gonna have to, like, discuss it after you've played it. You're gonna lurk while you do some cleaning? Okay, good luck with your cleaning, Breezy. I have to do, like, really weird, like, sideways walk. I can't just go straight. Hey, Plowtoos, how's it going? <sighs> I made her not chilly! Oh, what you drawing? Oh, it looks nice. Ah. Oh, I guess he's not allowed to see it yet. All right. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! A superhero! Probably because he gave her flower and a sweater. <laughs> this is adorable. What is it? I want to know what's in the present. Oh. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh. Who's at the door? I guess we're playing as her now. Look at their cute house. I know there's someone here, but like, wow, what a perspective this game has. View. <gasps> oh, he made one for her. Superhero June. All right, let's go. Ooh, what's in the bedroom? Hi. Hey, he's got muscle. Oh, oh. Or did he just, like, stick a lemon Hi. under his shirt sleeve or something? <laughs> I know, I know. I just want to look at these paintings first. Calm down, person at the door. All right, so they like to go for boat rides, and she'll read. Yeah, she's definitely the better artist. There's another door. Yeah, this perspective is really interesting. Because, like, it's kind of telling you what to see just because it's only looking in a certain direction. That must be her father, because he's wearing orange. Are they all wearing orange? This kid nearby. That's her. She's She is quite the artiste. Exactly. I'm wondering if these are all the people we're going to be playing as in this game. We'll see. Wow, she's good. I like that. One of them in the boat. What's this? Oh, this is like a... Everyone, this, oh, there's a dog. Can we play as the dog or as the bird? Oh, all 
All right, hello. Who is it? <gasps> There's the kid. Oh, is that their kid? Oh, he's sleeping. You have to be quiet, Grandpa. <laughs> Okay, see ya. He has a key. A gnome! <laughs> oh, Nike. So, is this back in time? Is this... She's tiptoeing. Here? Is there another better place for this to be? Let's see, is there a here in the bedroom? As she, like, tiptoes... Oh, this isn't the bedroom. Where's their bedroom? Their house is huge! Here? Okay, let's, uh... I didn't realize their house was this big. Is she no longer gonna tiptoe because... Oh no, she still is. You're upstairs! He's sleeping downstairs. Alright, so this is... this is... Oh! Here! Yeah, this looks like it's the best place for it. It's got an exclamation point. Uh, ah. This dock looks like it's their spot. Uh -huh. Gatekeeper, hello! You've heard good things? Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. I've been waiting to play this game forever. Is this giving her the idea to go to the dock? Is she pregnant? What is that very, like, obvious touch <laughs> of her stomach and, like, only shows that and not her face? Isn't that the, like, universal she's pregnant sign? <laughs> Fireworks? In preparation for the 4th of July? Uh, let's go out the back door. Oh, look at this picture. Aww. It's painting of her painting! Mm. Who did it, though? Alright, it's like, where- remember where the door is. <laughs> mm. Ah, here. No. What the heck is happening? Why can't I go outside? Alright, I'm gonna go upstairs. It's really startling. They have a dish of candy in their hallway. Okay, look at him go up the stairs. That's adorable. Hmm. <sighs> this is very nice and all, but like... <laughs> What does that have to do with the sounds outside? Hello? Hey, girl with pearly earring. Look at that. Hi. Mona Lisa. Is he calling for her? Aww. I like this. Alright. There's like no way for me to change the camera angle, so it's like a memory game. How well do you know their house? Hello? Maybe it's him shooting off things. Okay, he's got fond feelings about her. A little exasperated about the other guy. He loves her. Is that a little smoochy sound? Aw. Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Must be his father. I don't know. All right, this is this is bizarre. What is this game? Mini Azerlon. Hello, how's it going? This is the last day of June. It is a game about uh, going through the last day of his wife, June. And uh, other than that, I'm not really sure yet. I'm still figuring that out myself. Whew. How you doing? It's a measure to balance the moment, amount of sweetness in the game. I'm sure it is. Oh, window, of course. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that. I think 
a lot of sweetness. <gasps> the dog! Stop trying to shoot the bird! <laughs> Don't throw that soccer ball in my face. Just give me a minute, he says. Give me a minute. Dealing with love and loss. Great way to put it, Saf. Alright. Where'd she go? June! Is she in the kitchen? Here's another window. I didn't see her. I went through the entire house. Is she in the canvas room? Painting? Yeah, you read the press kit. You did. You certainly did, Saf. Hey, there's a radio. I wonder if... She borrowed a wrench? Does she like him? I can't tell what their relationships are. Aw, it's so cute! I don't know who she is though yet. His name is, oh, the dog's name is Timmy. <laughs> Derpy, I know, he's a derpy dog. He's adorable, though. Look at this view outside. That's pretty. Alright. Here are the time. Where is June? She must be upstairs. Unless I can go outside? Not yet. Okay. June! Look at that bowl of candy! June! Ah. Honey? I think he's saying honey. We already looked at that paint. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww, picnic! At their spot! Hey! Mark Z, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the Jesfellians! I'm trapped in the house. This is actually a horror. Ha, <laughs> Plautus. Oh my gosh. It could be sister, but she seemed a little nervous. She seemed a little shy and nervous, Saf, and I think she would be more comfortable going into his house. I don't know. We'll see. Could be her sister. Jump scare. I know, right? I'm good. How are you? Is Mark okay, or do you like Mark Z? Marcus? Marcus, maybe? How are you doing? Thank you for asking. I'm, I am doing really well. Aw, that's how they got here. So this gift is not actually from her. It's from the grandpa. One of their fathers. So what's inside? <gasps> no, don't lose your sweater. I can see it blowing off. Don't lose it, okay? It's cold. Oh, it's like a cape. It's adorable. Okay, we gotta go inside now. We gotta go. He's like contemplating it. Should I? Should I go inside? <laughs> oh, look at the rain. Oh. Oh, it started to come down. Go. Can you go a little faster? Nope. He's slow. He's a slow runner. Alright. The music has gotten foreboding. Engine problems. There we go. Spaces accelerate. Oh, they're gonna make me drive this? This is, okay, a lot, a lot of my dreams, funnily enough, actually happen where I am in the back seat of the car, but I'm also driving it for some reason. So this, this is just like really bringing to mind that. Oh, I know this song. Interesting. I like what they're doing with it harmonically. 
Why didn't you use your turn signal? <laughs> Alright, I'm not really... I'm. It's really hard to drive this. The play, like, the, they're curving the road so much. Alright, I think I'm getting quite, kind of the hang of it. Alright, here we go. There we go. Still see the sun, even through the rain. Only Marquez? Okay. Plautus and Nike recommended my stream to you. Oh my gosh! Thank you both so much! And thank you for listening, Marquez. <laughs> Rith! Hello! How's it going, Rith? How's your weekend? This is sweet so far. I know it's not gonna stay sweet for the entire game, but like, I'm liking this a lot. All right. He's napping, his glasses are off. I feel like something's wrong. Yep, something's wrong. I don't think June was the one to take his glasses off this time. They're so huge! Oh my gosh! His glasses are really huge. It's going well so far? Nice to hear, Rith. Very nice to hear. It's going to turn into horror. I think it's more uh, sadness, like Azulon is saying, Plautus. But I could be wrong. But... Yeah, he can't walk anymore, so sadness. <sighs> it's a sad song. Yep, a tragedy. <sighs> oh man, I can't go upstairs now. Oh no. I'm glad I got to know what the upstairs looked like before I can no longer go upstairs. Wait, where are the pictures? There are no pictures anymore. I'm a little afraid to look in this back room. I don't... I can't go into the back room. I think he's shut the door. Wait, can I shift the perspective somehow? Window's still open. Oh. Wow, yeah. They shut off this other entrance. He can't bring himself to go in there, I see. You have to. You have to. Uh, I guess he can't. Can you get some food? Is that medicine? Yeah? Nothing in there, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so sad. Mm. It's interesting they portrayed the room as dark. She it, like she was all the light. Yep, here's his medicine. Nope, here's a can of soup. <gasps> and he can't reach it. Oh no. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I didn't want to see it drop on the floor and then him not be able to reach that either. I know Plautus, right? It's exactly like your fridge. <laughs> oh. This game. I know you have to go in there. <sighs> Let's do it. Hey, Marmike, how's it going? Oh, this game. <laughs> this game's gonna wreck me. Marmike, how's your weekend? You got this. Weekend's good? Good to hear. Good to hear. Mine too. Oh, it's all cleared out. No, he covered, he covered all of them. This is her stuff. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh. <clears throat> all right, can we open up any of these? I guess it's just all these boxes. So let's get the one in the center. <clears throat> nope. Nah. He's looking for a can opener. <clears throat> I think he's looking for a can opener. <clears throat> I guess the the pop tab wasn't working. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's a... <gasps> of course, it's the one next to her painting. <gasps> you got all the platinums in CTR? Congratulations, Marmike. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, that is what the blonde woman returned. Yes, it is, Saf. I thought it was a wrench, but maybe it's a can opener. Okay, you have to look at her. Okay, don't give me that. You have to look at her. Yes, we're doing it. Remember! <laughs> this was on his birthday, too! Everything that happened was on his birthday. Kid! Doggy! We have to find the doggy! Doggy! Come on! Doggy, come with me! Dog! Oh, his face. <laughs> that was like his neck hole. Oh, that was creepy. Doggy, let's play! I know, Rith, it's totally not a trap. <laughs> Oh, man. I know, that was hard to remember, but you did great. You did so well. Hmm. I guess we have to remember the soccer ball now. The way he runs, right, Ubi? <laughs> uh, Mara, Mike, you just tried out the online race and came in third? Congratulations. I knew you would do well. <laughs> All right, we're remembering the soccer ball. Wait, why did this change from... Interesting. One more time. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Memories are unlocking everywhere. So it's interesting that her portrait turned into, like, all he can remember of her now is that soccer ball. Your dog is named Kane. Oh, which is dog in your language? That's cute, Nika. You're preparing for the Grand Prix DLCs. They come at Wednesday. Ooh, perfect. Oh. Force field on ball, exactly. I like dogception. I'll take dogception any day. They're in a well. <gasps> huh. Do we have to get to that somehow? Interesting. Why are their portraits appearing outside? Unless that's like in the places that they play or that he remembers them? The moon's as big as his head. That's her voice! That's her voice! We've gotta go. Come on, we gotta go. Oh, we're outside! Magical realism. Yes, F. Marmik, I would also love that. That'd be great. Alright. I'm, like, nervous about what we're gonna find. <gasps> Wait, this is her! This is her and him? <laughs> is that a scarecrow of him that he put up? They put that up together and she helped him from falling? Wait, I want to see what this is over here. She painted the kid. He's a hero. 
She likes to paint everyone as heroes. Let's do the kid first, because we, we've seen his side of it. <sighs> if he hadn't gone into the <gasps> road that day, they wouldn't have, like, run... They wouldn't have, like, driven past him. Alright, so it looks, looks like we have to collect these paintings or something to access them later. Oh, I see. I see. Alright, well, let's go, let's go do the kid. How do I get home? Oh, here's the well. Here's the well. Don't fall in. Did they kiss? That was sweet. Keep your aim true and aim for the kid. Oh gosh. Dark moral. <laughs> Dark moral to this story. I think it might be. I think the crash is a butterfly effect cascade of events. I don't think I ever saw that movie, but uh, and now suddenly this door is open to it too. Here we go. Yeah, I think we're going to be playing as each of the portrait characters. Uh, and seeing how their events leading up to that day affected oh. June's last day. Like, maybe we could reverse what happened. Oh, we're now really trapped in the house. Only way forward is to remember. Save her? <gasps> yeah. Let's save her. It's a theory long predating the film. Of course it is. I've heard about it. Butterfly flaps its wings, and then on the other side of the world, there's a hurricane or earthquake or something. Okay, he's got his soccer ball. Bored. Dog! Run, Lola, run. Change something small and see how it affects the timeline. Well, that was the guy chasing after the bird. This is the kid saying hello to the guy, and I say, don't throw that ball at his head. It looks like it's the perfect thing to bounce a ball off, but don't do it. <sighs> Nothing good. He's cute, though. Later, later, go away, yeah. And he's like, no. If I... Wait, if I hadn't said, no, let's not play, and had actually just played with him, then he wouldn't have... Oh gosh, it's all my fault. I dismissed him! Oh. I love this song. No one wants to play kite. The dog could play. What's the dog doing besides panting right now? Right? This tragedy? It's like bleeding through it all. Look at this kid's face! Oh, old man, will he play? Well... Is that... Is he gonna play a trick on the old man? Is he gonna prank him? That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? While the old man is sleeping. Oh no, I guess he's playing in his uh, treehouse. Okay. An absolute unit. Yes, Zareth. You gotta go? Okay, Azralan, thank you for being here and hanging out for a bit. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Kid, you've got friends. I'm sure. Somewhere. couple for now they're happy for now does he see the sailboat sign and goes yes I want to go boating or is that just a sign for us that they're going to the dock all right we found the kid and the dog but we didn't really see the dog That's not the dog. Wait, that's the old man playing kite with him. Bye, soccer ball. 
I wondered. He put it on the windowsill. Like, it had to fall out. Alright, I guess we gotta go chase after it. It's the only thing we have left. <gasps> okay. I'm like, we're stuck. <laughs> there we go. What is that grumpy man doing? Oh. I guess this is the thing to follow. Oh. I guess it's his rope that he was borrowing. Alright. This is the June symbol. Right? Or this is the mother? I don't really know what to do. So let's, uh... Oh, there's other ones. That's a heavy gate. Nope. I guess we're stuck there. Oh, we'll use this. Nope. Why can't I use this opening? Just shove the flower pot out of the way. Are you too nice of a kid to do that? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Kid! That's me! I found my face! I used to have a friend! We would play soccer together. Alright, this is cute. Okay, okay. Oh, Teeter totter. Not really being used anymore. Is this us playing, me and the kid? He had hair. There's a soccer ball. This is, it's very artistic, Marmike. I agree. It's got a really, like, distinct art style. Oh, is he gonna help me? Alright, let's go back out. Oh. I can move those with the soccer ball. <laughs> Aww. I like this. They're playing. Alright, grab your ball. Your ball is your, like, weapon. We can leave now. Ooh. Ha <laughs> Try again, try again. Do it, you can do it, you can do it. All right, let's one more time, one more try, one more try, I wanna get the basket. Let's see, can you do it, can you do it from here? Come on. There, do it, get a basket. You're terrible. <laughs> Why are you trying to throw a soccer ball to a basket anyways? All right. You're much better at this. Yes! Yes! Get that vase! <laughs> He's laughing at me? Oh no! Oh no, Plautus. This poor kid doesn't realize. <laughs> play with me, play with me! Don't show me the hand! Ah, uh, can I at least have your dog? Doggy? <laughs> Look at him! Little boy! I know, this dude really does need a lesson in gun safety. Hi! Yeah, play! Look at that little, like, play. <gasps> yeah! 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 Yeah, let's do it again! I love this dog! Did he say hey? Oh, I can, I can jog. Oh, what are you doing? Hello. You can see the storm coming from the distance. It's really interesting. Alright, let's, uh... There is the, the kid in the ball. I get it. And the dog. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh 
Uh oh. It was the dog's fault? It was the dog's fault? No, I can't think it was the dog's fault. You think the doggo can eat the kid? We didn't do anything to stop this. This is not good. This is not good. I know, the gun guy is a, is a menace, for sure. Dog! Why did you throw the ball here? It's okay, I'm gonna get it. Kid, you have to get off the road, though. That changed to nothing. We did nothing. We understand the situation a little better, but, like, that didn't change anything. Ah... <gasps> <sighs> Okay. Rewind. I don't think we need to rewind. Maybe we can rewind later. Let's go back out and find another person. Uh-oh. I think I actually do have to change something. All right, let's see if we can rewind. If we can back... Maybe this is our way to change something. But if it's not the ball, it's probably going to be something else. Okay, so nothing is set in stone yet. Okay, the kid's ball is going to blow down. Alright. Maybe if we got the kite down... He play with the kite instead. He's terrible at baskets. I guess he is laughing at me. All right, let's see if we can get that down. Hmm. Can you actually get a basket this time? Nope. Still terrible. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, is the basket this is this is a That's the old man. Alright, so let's uh let's go over towards the old man this time. You go inside my house. Nah. Nothing worthwhile inside the house. Hey Rotodo! How's it going? How's your weekend? I have to get the gun from the guy and then shoot at the old man. No. No, I don't. There's the dog. Yeah, the little one is saved. We just have to get the kite saves now, too. I think the kite's the key. I think the kite's the key. All right, so it wants me to go to the dog, but I'm running away from the dog. I'm sorry. Doggo. Doggo, doggo, I love you. You're super fun, but you are reckless with my ball. So, we're gonna try something else. Let's see. I hear the old man. I hear him. Hello, old man. Laughing at me because my kite got stuck. Play? <laughs> Oh, he wanted to. He wanted to. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. A kite? I think he'd rather have the kite. Yeah. Are you better at baskets, old man, than uh, we are? Because we're terrible. Uh, I can't knock that over. What's this? Is this the map? Bah. It is. Bah, bah. <laughs> so it looks like at the top... Interesting. I'm trying to see where the dock might be. Maybe it's not on this, uh, on this map. The old man scares you every time. I didn't knock over all the vases. I still have a. Uh, I still have the one next to him. Oh, there's there it is. So we need the rope. 
We need the rope to get down there. He's scared of heights for very good reason. Here we go. Ready for this? We're gonna distract him. We're gonna knock this over. And now we're gonna... We're gonna take this. <laughs> I think though... I don't know. I think I'm gonna need to get the ball again. In order to get the kite. But I don't think I can go back up now. Well, likely we wouldn't have been able to get down with the ball anyways. So... All right, let's see, can we do it? Ah. All right, no. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to have the ball. This is pretty. Oh, spying. <laughs> That's cute though. What's this in the distance? This like castle over there. I like it. They so cute, right? Aren't they so cute? Look at them. Hey! <laughs> they can't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry, little kid. Okay. Oh, it's like a gong. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. So how will we get the kite down? I need the soccer ball. Unless I can find out what's over here. What's over here? It's really interesting because I definitely can't tell. The perspective on this is forced, and so we can only see what they want us to see. Alright, looks like... Church? Is that way? And I don't, I don't really know what this is. That looks like another way up. I hear the dog. Oh, hey, look! Hey, dog! Play? I don't have a ball, so we can't play together. I think there is somebody's little head thing over here, the little head symbol. I want to see if I can collect it. Oh, nope, need to be on the other side. Can't. All right. Can't knock that over. Uh-oh, I hear him shooting again. There it is. I see. I see that blue glowy thing. Let's see if we can get it. Whatever it is. Or at least we'll know. I'm wondering if it's the kid. Alright. Bismuth! Hello! How's it going? It is the kid! How's your weekend going, Bismuth? We got two. Wait, I wanna s what? Interesting. Alright, there are memories that I can get, like, slideshow through. We'll have to look and see what that second memory is of the kid. I wonder if it's of, like, his friend. Did his friend move away? It's not raining. Ball? Play? <gasps> He's so dangerous with that. Oh, look, it's like no dogs. No dogs right there. Interesting. He's so reckless. You were aiming that at the kid? Why did you shoot that? So we just need to get the ball. Honestly, that's all it is. I think we need to get the ball and then go back down. Can't go through that either. I don't think we can get the gate. Hmm. This is pretty. I like this this neighborhood a lot. Oh, hi! <laughs> no. No one wants to play with you, kid. You're, the, like, the forgotten... <laughs> forgotten person in this whole village. The man sounds like a pirate. He does, Nika. He definitely does. Let's see if I can hear the old man. There's the dog. We'll go... We'll go up here. This should take us to the man. It goes. It goes. That's good to hear, Bismuth. 
Uh, yeah, I hope everyone is going well. It's a good good sentiment. I agree. Hope everyone's going well. Heartless woman. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's like a little little fountain well thing there. Um, kind of a fountain, yeah. Dealing with love and loss. Yes, this game is the last day of June. And uh, June is a person. And she dies in a car accident. And so what we're trying to do, I think, is rewind the time and see if we can make different choices so that uh, she doesn't die. That's what I think this game is. But in the general broad sense, it's about uh, dealing with love and loss. That was the best shot I've ever seen you make, kid. Forget your soccer ball. Let's play with the old man. Let's play with him. Look at this. We got a kite now. Much better than that soccer ball. Soccer balls can't even make it through baskets. What's the point? Yeah, isn't it powerful, Rototo? Oh, I love this. Who's that? Oh, that's the scarecrow. That's the scarecrow of our main character. Thought it was a real person. Okay, so he's not playing now with the dog. So maybe this will be enough to stop the accident. I doubt it, but we'll see. End the day. Yeah, let's do it. Boy and kite? Yeah, okay, let's see. June, June was in the car, yeah. Do it. Play. Play. Yeah? You can see the lightning. Oh my gosh. He's trying it, though. He's really trying for it. There you go. You got it. Wow, he's really good with that rope. Okay, they're gonna have, like, an idyllic... Oh, no, but it's a storm! It's too windy for kites! What are you thinking? <laughs> they're having fun, though. <laughs> this is sweet. That was sweet. Okay. Has it changed? What's gonna happen? It looks like she's still alive for now. Yeah, there's no kid here. Did we do it? It can't be this easy. Was that it? <gasps> nope. Oh, yeah, no, he thinks. Hey, your wheelchair's so far away. How how did you get in the chair if it's so far away? I guess maybe he didn't want to see it. He didn't want to remind himself of everything that had happened. At least we no longer think of the soccer ball when we think of June. Which means we're going to have to go back and see what happened. Whew. You're allergic to adorableness? <laughs> You're back? Yay! How is the cleaning, Breezy? You got this. You got this, buddy. Okay, we have to remember what happened to her because it wasn't the kid in the ball. But something still happened. Where are their eyes? This is definitely the art style. There is um, a music video for Stephen Wilson's song, Drive Home, and it's like in the same kind of graphic and art style. It's vaguely creepy. <laughs> I totally, totally think. Why is there furniture everywhere? Oh no! It was her fault? Why did she have furniture in her car? Did she need that rope? <laughs> Does everything like, did she not like bundle it down enough and she needs that rope that the kid is playing with the kite? 
Does everything like infringe on this one rope that this town has? This town needs more rope. Yeah, the timeline changed. It's really intriguing. But I think that means it can be changed for the good. All right, let's see if we can find the woman. Did I finish that time manipulation game? Yes, the gardens between, I did. I played it all in one day, Breezy. Just like I plan to do with this one. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh! He knew she was pregnant? <laughs> They were building a crib? I mean, I was right. I guessed that she was pregnant from their very obvious... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. These are one-way gates. There we go. It was great, Breezy. It was sad, but really good. Well done. They did a great job with that game. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Did she have a miscarriage? What happened? Wait, I want to see if there's other memories. Okay, he can't go upstairs. How is he supposed to get around in this town? They haven't done anything in this town to make it safer for him. Now that he's had this accident. Like, I hope they have plans to have ramps put in. It stairs everywhere. Yep, I think she had a miscarriage. And there she is in the same wheelchair. I don't want to say they're lucky they had it, because they're definitely not, but like, I guess it came in handy. All right, so he's now blaming her for this. I have a feeling about that too, Gatekeeper, that we just have to learn to deal with it, like that it was just, this is life. That's, I'm thinking that too. But we'll see, we might be able to change everything. Everything might might go back to the way it was. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> this is clearly saying you can't go past here. <laughs> it's just a barrier. The kingdom was lost for want of a king. The king was lost for want of a horse. The horse was lost for want of a shoe. The shoe is lost for want of a nail. My kingdom for a nail. Have I ever played uh, Life is Strange? I played a little bit of it, Marquez. Uh, and I found it was quite difficult to stream. So I didn't keep up with it. And also, I wasn't a big fan of the story from what I had seen. Marmike! Oh my gosh! Marmike, thank you so much for resubbing six months! Marmike, that's amazing. You were my first sub. Thank you so much for six months. That's crazy. Oh, Marmike and Breezy, thank you for gifting that sub to Plautus. Plautus, welcome to the Waffles League. Ah, you guys, this is so exciting. <laughs> Breezy, thank you. Plautus, welcome. Marmike, welcome as well. Thank you. All the puppy hype! All the Waffles hype! Waffles is giving all of me a big hug. A big hug. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are the best. Oh. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> Dad jokes for the win. Always. Alright, we got this portrait now. We got this portrait of Missy, Miss Lady. I want to call her Missy. I don't know who she is, though. <laughs> okay, we're trapped again. We have to do this until we can change events. We have to do this. I know, Breezy. Isn't this crazy? Oh, I, I was thinking that too. Red, red gift sub badge. I know this is new. This is new. Candy. I know it's so meta. 
last day of June on the last day of June. I've literally been planning this since last year. <laughs> this has been a year in the works. How you doing, Candy? How's it going? <laughs> Yay, I like it. I like the new tier gift sub badges. Marmik, you wonder if she died over something else. Oh, and he was in the car and crashed. Received brain damage and thinks that she died at the crash and is trying to work it out, but it turns out she died of something else. Maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh, so much hype. So much hype is happening right now. Moofal, thank you so much for this raid. Moofal, Moofal raid. Well, Waffles and all of us are here to welcome you guys in. Hello, hello everybody. Hello, Samipon. Yay! Hype, Moofle, how did your stream go? How is everything? <laughs> Yay! For those of you who might not know me, I'm Jess Bellior. Hello and welcome. This is Waffles. Waffles is our mascot. And today is last day of June, so I'm playing the last day of June, which is really exciting. Your game kept crashing. Oh, Moofle, that's annoying. I'm sorry that you were having that issue. Apart from that, it was great. Okay, good. Good. As long as you can still have, like, good fun times. Even if the game's not working very well. That's a really good thing. <laughs> hi, Waffles! Candy, this is for you. Waffles says hi! <laughs> the evil within Akumu mode. Oh. Is that what you're playing, Moofle? The evil within? I don't, I don't think I'm familiar with that. One hit, you die from anything? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And you played some piano? Nice. I'm sorry I missed that. Nice. Yay! Well, welcome all of you guys. Ah, oh, like I was saying, uh, yeah, it is, that's so hardcore. hardcore. <laughs> like, really. Um, I'm playing The Last Day of June. It's a game, uh, that's about dealing with love and loss. June in this game is a person, someone's wife, and so we're replaying her last day, um, hopefully trying to figure out how to reverse uh, the car accident that led to her death. That's the hopes. Oh, man. I know, I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's really great, and this game, my favorite part about this game and what really appealed me to it is my favorite musician, artist, uh, Stephen Wilson, who is also behind Porcupine Tree, a band I love. It's, it's his music video uh, for one of his songs inspired this video game. Like someone came up to him saying, we love this music video and the story, can we make a video game around it? And he was like, what? You wanna make a, a computer game? <laughs> like he didn't play video games, but I think he gets it now that he's seen it. Yes, Stephen Wilson, he's so amazing. Spreading, <laughs> spreading the love for Stephen Wilson. But this game, it's got a really great art style and the music is on point. And it's just really tragic. I'm very excited. So we're playing through a day right now. We're, we're going to be trying to figure out what she did to cause the accident. And then seeing if we can reverse her day and like make different choices. I don't know who this is besides she's a neighbor. She's a neighbor, that's all I know. She's a neighbor and we'll see. You know the band, nice Plautus. I like prog rock a lot as well. Porcupine Tree is my favorite. Steven Wilson though, he's just so, so clever, so creative. Oh. I knew it, I knew she was in love with him. Past flame or like unrequited love. Is she moving? She's moving, she's moving on. <gasps> she's moving. So she has to pack up all of her furniture and she has one last thing from him and she needs to return it. And that's the can opener or wrench or whatever this is. It's his, you've gotta, I knew it. I knew she was too shy and tentative when she was giving it back. I knew she liked him. There's no words in this game, but they can still tell a really great story. Okay, so she just, she just let herself in. <laughs> Look how giggly she is. She's so giggly and shy. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
and the way her hand lingered. Oh my gosh, she can't resist one last look. As she like leaves. He does he has no idea. He's so clueless. I know. She's thinking like, I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. You're not. He's married though. Like <laughs> he's married. You've gotta find something healthier to obsess over. Isn't this art style fantastic? Oh my gosh, candy. Ugh. Oh. She can't stand to throw out the album of her love. Her creepy, unrequited love. Ah! Oh. I am a time lord. Exactly, Candy. I'm a time lord. I love that. Yeah. The wiki calls her the best friend. Okay, so it is unrequited. I'm gonna call her Missy. This is Missy. <sighs> If he just chose Missy instead of June, June would never have died. That's what I'm- that's the moral of the story. Oh no, she didn't even get a chance, a chance to say like an actual goodbye. Can I also say that this is his birthday? It's- it's his birthday. His wife dies on his birthday. Like how tragic is that? <laughs> and that like ominous close up of the boat. <laughs> the picture pointing to the dock. Yeah, so her... Ugh. We're gonna continue playing through her day, but it's gonna end in tragedy. He's too dumb to realize that. Oh, I know, he's oblivious. But also, I think he's so in love with his wife that he can't see beyond that. He just can't see what else is going on. That's not, you know, that's not his fault. We all do that. <gasps> this is the last box. Alright, we gotta... Say goodbye. Bye, fireplace. Bye, desk. Bye, furniture I obviously don't care enough about, otherwise I would have brought you along. Bye, house. Thank you for the good times. She can't do it. Can you try again? She's like, no. I'm not even gonna touch it with my shoulder. Bye, telephone. Bye, wardrobe. What? Are you just gonna stay stuck in this house? Like, what are you... Gotta go through. No. What's your problem? I like I like this the camera angles a lot for this game. The angel satchels used to car collect as a kid. Oh, carved wood. Do they not have eyes? What if you're facing the other direction? No. Her box is clipping through. I don't think she can do it emotionally. Because the door is open. Alright. Just open the door. Alright. Is it easier if you're not walking out with your stuff? Yes. They are faceless. Oh, interesting, Candy. Yeah, Marmike. <laughs> I tried for too long doing the same exact things. <laughs> They had wings made of wire. Oh. Oh, I like how she kicks up the, uh, the leaves. Careful of ticks, though. You're wearing f flats. Is she the one who doesn't like dogs? Alright, so this is all of her stuff. There we go. I think now I can bring the box out. Yep. Okay. Let's just... All right, let's just go through. Let's 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 do this. See what happens. Is she gonna say goodbye to anybody else? Is the kid gonna come up with her to ask her to play? And she's gonna say, "Nah, no, I don't want to play with you, kid. Can't you see I'm moving?" And he'd be like, "Meh, ah," because he's a kid and he just wants to like play with somebody. That poor kid. Only the dog will give him the time of day, unless he has a kite. All right, <gasps> here we go. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> uh, the truck is overpacked. It totally is Rototo. But I don't think she is aware. I don't think. <gasps> Are you okay, lady? Did you slide? No. Hey, there's the dog. Why did she, like, slide over the leaves? 
Let's see. Let's she can do it again. <gasps> yeah, this is not good. She is. She's in a bad state right now. Like she's not doing well. <sighs> All right. Any anywhere else we can go here? Can we just like dust the leaves? Can we shove that over? She is. She's definitely a hot mess. <laughs> Heyo, right? Hey, I think it's Heyo. Heyo Miller. Miller. Um, yeah, he made a painting and like came up with these characters a long time ago. And Stephen Wilson. We need to get a rake. There it is. Stephen Wilson uh, made a song out of it called Drive Home. Um, and the music video which was also based in the same art style as that original painting and the characters. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. And that's what this game is based off of. We need to find a way to get a rake. So, cause she just, she cannot, she can't deal right now. Scared by leaves. I know you got to go. Okay. Plow twos. Have a great, great, great rest of your day. Oh, welcome again to the waffles league. Hi, doggy. Nope. I don't think she likes dogs. Is this for you, lady? No, that's for gunman. All right, let's see if we can go through the fence. This gate over here. It's open, so. She's going into his yard. Trespassing. Nah, can't go through there, though. All right. Not this. I hear him. I hear him with his gun. I think I had seen another one of the faces. I hear his like little snuffling. Is that the kid playing? Hey neighbor, can I just say goodbye? Or borrow a rake? I hear him. I hear the kid. Is she in heels? Uh, maybe. Hmm. So this is the map of, of the entire area. It's interesting. I I can't really read it though. I'm having trouble recognizing what their houses look like. Is there, there's a windmill? There's a windmill here? What? Okay, the kid sounds like he's having a lot of fun and I'm really happy about that. Hello, hat! <laughs> Can we see the kid from here? Where is he? He's got like a little devilish laughter, like all kids. Here's a hammer thing, okay. Let's see. Hmm. That laugh is not good. <laughs> oh my gosh, Candy. Oh, he's having a fun time playing kite with the with the grandpa. Hi. Oh, and they immediately turn away. It's okay. It's okay. They're going to miss you. Trust me. Totally going to miss you, lady. Poor Missy. Uh, there was a gate outside my house that I had to get the other side to open. Okay, let me go back to check that out. Use the hammer to crunch up all the leaves. Candy, you're brilliant. Perfect. Actually, can I open this door? Yes. I think once... Oh, nope. Oh, shoot. I'm going to be here forever, aren't I? Oh, no. She's strong. <laughs> she's strong. All right. So let's go back to the house. The kid was too weak to keep that gate open, but it looks like every time there is... Which way is her house? Her house is that one. Every time there's like a memory and you open the gate, the gate stays open, which is really good. There was a memory right there? Wait, there was? All right, I'll get the memory. Hi, doggy. I can't believe I missed the memory. Where is the gate? Over here? Yep. 
Memory. Is it over here? Ah, yes. Okay, cool. So how do I get to the memories? I think it's... Yeah, there we go. So you've got two for the kid. His friend, who no longer is here. Oh, man, look at all the ruckus they used to cause. All right, we're going to have to play these characters again in order to get all the memories. I'm not sure if it's possible in, like, one playthrough. Sold move now. Is that her as a little kid? <gasps> Did they move from a big city when she was a kid next door to this other guy, our main character, and then she fell in love with him because she's, like the girl next door and he's the boy next door and then he fell in love with somebody else and she just never moved on from that and like now she literally is and she's gonna wreck his life because of it oh man it's deep all right let's let's leave this area on the left thank you guys i'm i'm very distracted by the pretty stuff and by the dog like, when you have a dog in the seam, I'm probably going to only notice a quarter of what's going on, because most of my focus is on this dog. Hello. <laughs> I think if I go forward this way, I'll get back to her house, and I'll see if I can reach a gate going the right way. <gasps> this guy. Let's see if we can greet him, if he'll be any nicer to me. I kind of doubt it. He seems like he has no manners. Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, she's not even gonna, like, try it. Nah. Yeah. That goes to show how he is. Alright, I can't get through here. She's trying. Can't do it. You need, like, thinner fingers to, like, slip through the side. But then your wrist needs to, like, bend like a paperclip. Oh, wow, this is a fancy house. Is this where the hunter guy lives? Must be. That must be how he gets out. And here's her house. Okay. So we got that gate open. Already. There we go. Another gate. We got another gate open. This is probably the one with the fence. I mean, the rake. Oh, no. This is her house. I'm all turned around. Not being able to move the camera by myself makes it pretty tricky to see what you want to see, which means it's entirely up to them to show you what they want you to be focusing on. Where was the rake? Oh, he's pretty apples. There we go. There we go. That was it. Oh, I guess I can't open it yet. Nope. I need something heavy to go in there in order to get that rake. Okay. What have we seen that's heavy besides the dog? The man with the gun. Let's use him. <laughs> Aww. Can the box not go in there? Oh, well. Well, okay. The thing is, if we could get the box into there, then I don't think we would need the rake. Because we're being blocked from carrying the box out because maybe they are heels. She can't walk with the box over these leaves. Is that a thing? Yeah. Spooky. I know, the spooky leaves. And this hat. Alright, oh, let's see. I haven't really seen anything heavy. Unless this is a thing? No. Shout out if you know something heavy that I could use. Hmm. Over accomplishments, right? Perforate the turf. Yeah, it's true. 
the hammer. Can we just pick up the dog? Hey there, dog. No one's paying attention to the dog. He's feeling very lonely. Maybe there is something in here. And that's why we're supposed to be... Maybe that's why we had a memory in here. The kid laughing. No, I feel like... I must be missing something obvious. Use the kid! He's with the grandpa. I don't think the grandpa would let me use him. No, oh my gosh. She really, she's enamored by this gate. She's like, look how heavy this is. If only I could pick it up and put it on this other thing. <laughs> hmm. The dog's whimper. Pumpkin, can I use a pumpkin? No, I can't get in there. If I could, I could get the rake. Uh, I did have a box. Did I check what you mentioned? Um, I don't. Can you remind me what you mentioned, Rotodo? I think I missed it. Try the box. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I know the big old pumpkins would do it. You would think. Pick some time. <laughs> In front of my house. The gate up. This is my house, right? Yeah, you were you were absolutely right. There's the gate over here. Alright, let's take a look at this gate again. So there's a gate up here. In front of my house. Yeah, that goes to another house. This is the gate we need to lift up. <gasps> and it's too heavy. But there's this thing that would hold a box. So let's... We'll pick up her box again and then see if if that somehow is able to be like tossed or something. I'm just getting the sense I'm not able to carry it or Oh I opened up this other gate. Wait. Wait, I opened up the other gate. I don't think I'll have a problem at all. Hey now. Hey now. Brilliant. But you're right, instead of putting it on the truck, we should uh we should put it on the gate thing and see if it opens it up. She's so eager. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great. But, like, I could just... I guess there's, like, leaves by the car. Here, we'll just rake up for everybody. Where are they going? They just, like, disappear. She disintegrates the leaves. It's like a Time Lord rake. She continues to lift boxes. You're right, she's very strong. Here, rake everything up. This will be the last act we do for your house. I know, what would the town do without me? <laughs> she's a witch, oh my gosh. I can't see your hat, lady. Missy, your hat's in the way. Here, we're just gonna do these two so there's no chance of anybody slipping. Not the new people who come to move in. <laughs> Alright. One more, one more. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. Alright, we better put the rake back. It's not our rake. I'm not even sure if it's like her unrequited love's rake. Her her neighbor's rake. Oh, let's do this for the tree too. Any more leaves anywhere? That's like the one tree that we can actually get to, like these two trees, so there must be a reason for that. Uh, let's go open this gate while we're here. Have a way around. Uh, I'm prepping myself for like future. Future people. Future myself to make it easier. Any more inward gates? I think this is enough. Alright. It's a fixed angle, Rotodo. It's fixed. I've tried a lot of buttons to move the camera, and I think it's fixed for a reason. It kind of... It makes it, like, the world a memory game. You have to kind of remember where everything's vague placement is. Um, but also, it very clearly guides you towards what it wants you to do, like, at the beginning of sequences. 
Um, so what? when we rewound the kids' day, the dog was front and center, and it wanted us to go to the dog, and we had to instead choose, no, I'm going to do something that I'm not... I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm gonna turn around and walk towards the camera. I can't see anything that's happening, and like we had that. Yeah, end the day. We had that, like, I don't know what's gonna happen because the alternative was ending the day, and we know, like this. We know it's gonna happen from here on out. Does the mouse move the camera? Maybe, but I don't know. I'll try that. <laughs> I tried, I tried arrow keys and I tried a few other peripheral buttons. Look at this beautiful town. I'll try the, I'll try the arrow next, the, um, the mouse, but I don't think it's going to do much. Don't quote me on that. It's okay. A little backstory for those of you who don't know. The song that was just playing was an acoustic version uh, of the accompaniment to the song Perfect Life by Stephen Wilson. Perfect life, oh my gosh, like, it's not a perfect life and that's why she's moving. It's, ah, uh, deep. That's so deep. All right. Second time driving car. Oh, I guess it does move it a little bit, the mouse. Maybe it does and I just haven't tried. <laughs> Music nerd jasp, that's me. Which way do I go? I guess I go this way. All right, we ended the day. This is what happens. Remember how she overpacked that truck and didn't tie anything down? It was all for a reason. Everything. How did everything from the truck fall out? She packed horribly. <gasps> it's so tragic. What a dumb dumb. I know. She just wasn't thinking. When you don't think, your actions have consequences. I mean, your actions always have consequences, but... <sighs> We're gonna try this again. Peeps gotta make good choices. You're so right, Saf. Here we go. I foresee that we're gonna have to play as the kid again because he has access to uh, other like fences and can knock down vases. Like we might need him to get rid of things. I guess she can't really choose to... <sighs> you need the rope. What? What? Oh. What are these things on my car? It's like they can tie things down. All right, we're gonna have to say, hey kids, sorry, we need that rope. I'm telling you, they need more rope in this town. Dog doesn't even have a leash. There are only bad drivers. It's true. That's, that's all this game is. I hear him, but I'm going to have to say, Hey, yo, I'm moving. I need your rope. I hear how happy you are, kid, but... Rope? <laughs> He's gonna do it. <laughs> nah. Oh. <gasps> I do have to play as the kid again. I need to play as the kid when he doesn't give her the rope. So we're going to have to end the day and then go back and play as the kid because we need, we need that rope more than he does. 
And the dog needs to be played with. Like, that's the biggest thing of all. That dog is so lonely. Look at him. I hear you, doggy. I hear you, Snufflin. I know. I'd pet you, but I don't think I don't think Missy likes dogs. All right, look how prim and proper she is. Her little twirls. <laughs> yeah, I'll mail it to you. Yeah, that's what it should say. Isn't this where Mike? I'm really fascinated by it. All right, so we're gonna have to end the day. We know now. She needs that rope. The grandpa was really reluctant to give it to her. I mean, to give it to the kid. He had to, like, distract the grandpa so he could take it himself. Yeah. Alright. Are we going to be forced to see what happens again? It's tragic. I think so. Interesting that we're getting it from their perspective. Because we made those decisions, this is what happens. You're gonna go on a walk soon? Oh, Rototo, okay. I hope you enjoy your walk. Tell Sam I say hi. Sam, if you're listening, hello. <laughs> All right. Like, honestly, she should have put her blinkers on in the car so they would have known something was up and he could have slowed down, but he seems pretty myopic, so I'm not sure if he would have actually been able to, uh, to see. Why was he driving in the rain? How am I gonna get- gonna let the kid give the rope and not lose the ball? Marmike, I think I actually have to let the kid have the ball and play with the dog. I think I have to right now. We'll see if there's another way. But my thought is, I'm going to have to play out this day with the kid giving the ball to the dog and the dog bouncing the ball into the road and chasing after the ball. But then I can replay the day as Missy and get the rope. This is going to be the easiest. Once we fix her... And take the rope out of the equation, I think we should be able to get another character, hopefully, that'll change things even more. Look how happy he is, though. We get to make the dog happy. <laughs> uh, for want of a rope. It's available now. Am I revisiting memories? I am. And unfortunately, we're revisiting this memory in particular a lot. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's see if this has made any kind of impact. Oh, no. What if she drives over the kid with the ball? <laughs> it is. It's both. It's both of them. That was her perspective we were seeing it from the first time. I didn't realize that. Wow, okay. And now he thinks of her as a sucker ball. This is where June goes. June goes in there. All right, we're going to play this. We're going to actually get the rope. Something is going to change this time. It looks like the kid doesn't have a mom, so maybe she'll just adopt the kid and then bring her with her. You know? You know how that could go? And that would get the kid out of the equation. He could just take the dog with him. It's not like the gun guy is going to notice anyways. Alright. We have no blockers, so she's able to bring that out to the car. Alright. She's going to see she needs a rope. It's so wobbly. Oh my gosh. Maybe the third character has to play with ball with the kid. Yeah. I I think maybe. Let's get the rope. The rope is still going to be near the grandpa. What is the kid up to right now? Laughing still. He's not playing with the dog, though. 
All right, the rope should be up here. I might have to ask the grandpa for it, but I think he'd be inclined to give it to me. Rope? Uh, 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 uh. Yes, please? Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. He has a good soul. Good heart. Good intentions. I, uh, I didn't want to have to, like, make a distraction as the kid and replay both these days again. So this is much easier. But he's just nice. And he's like, yeah, sure. I'm generous. You can take the rope. <laughs> Salt of the earth he is. Exactly. He's a good guy. I'm glad he decided to play kite with the kids. He's actually the unsung hero of this entire story. I'm excited to play as him. I wonder if he'll be able to move around a lot or like if he'll be really limited because he's got a limp. Oh, look at that. She actually did really well. Hmm. Except for that one box, it's like sticking out. She's gonna lose that one box at some point. But let's try it. See what happens. Oh, oh man. Her hat, she just puts the hat on the seat. All right, we're going to drive this time. I actually wonder, am I able to like drive in the different direction? I went left, but like, can I go, can I go right? Is that messing with things too much? Driving with this is very weird. Okay. Nope, I have to go left. <laughs> she fought me on that one. Also, she can't seem to stay in her lane. They are very bad drivers in this game. Uh, we're gonna blame emotional distraught on her part, and we're gonna blame the rain and his glasses on his. And the fact that he has no eyes. I think it's actually the fact that none of them have eyes. That's really the cause of all of this. Hey, oh my gosh. What's gonna happen next? Okay, great, but like we still have two characters. He still has a wheelchair. Still no June. I feel like this is his way to, like, cope with the grief is, like, by going through all of the what-ifs. Like, I don't think it's going to really change anything, but I think it might help him feel, like, come to terms with it and, like, feel a little more at peace. Let's see, though. <clears throat> you feel like, yeah, she didn't actually die from the crash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh, I can move it around. This entire time I've been playing as if I couldn't, but I can. Thank you, Saf, for telling me about the mouse. <laughs> I kind of liked not being able to see everything, though. Like, having a really forced perspective. It really, like, made me see this game in a different way. I'm overthinking things. <laughs> it's a normal stage of grief, yeah. And he's overthinking, yeah. Alright, this guy. He's still trying to get that bird. Okay. Oh my gosh. He causes the land to fall? Oh man. Yeah, that rage of despair. I would feel that too. <laughs> I like playing the game without all the tools are provided. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I know that too, Rototo. <laughs> oh. Classic survivor's guilt. <sighs> well, let's let's see let's see what happens now. It's it actually is much easier playing this with a mouse. I just like 
Thought it was like a one-handed game and was completely fine with it. Oh, This is after her miscarriage. She's having her own survivor's grief right now. Um... He's trying to cheer her up. It's not really working. But he's keeping at it. I think this is when she finally... It's a paint set. Wait! He gave her a paint set. Did she begin painting after this as like a way to like deal with all the trauma? This one has more memories than the others. Oh, he's pointing this way. Is that where they did... Huh. I wonder, did all of these have this many memories? Or is this the, the first one that has, like, more? This is sweet! She's found peace! Aw. Peace through painting. Art is cathartic. That's why there's art in the word cathartic. Oh, no, he can't go up there. That's stairs. I like that he's got, like, the dogs. Oh, there's, like, four of them! Look at them! They're adorable! Oh, sorry. I definitely, like, ran him into something. <gasps> okay. Bye, doggies. Oh, look, this is his doghouse. It looks like it's a good size for him. It's very nice that that gate is open. I just feel so sad that, like, these things happened to her. How do I get back in his house? It's this one, isn't it? All right, he went out the side door. All right, here we go. The beginning part and up. Yeah, it does. Oh, you're heading out? Okay, I'll see you, Rototo. Enjoy your walk. You're going to sleep? Okay. You too, you too, Marquez. Okay, Nike, Marquez, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great night's sleep. I'll see you around. Oh, thank you so much, Marquez. I'm really happy that you're here, too. <laughs> Yay! Good night, all. All right. Save her. We're going to save her. This guy. This guy is very rude. He's very conceited. What was that sound? It sounded like tape ripping. You'll be on the quiet side because you're cooking. Gatekeeper. Ooh. What are you making? Enjoy your cooking time. See you, Marcus. See you, Nikkei. Look at that. Look how conceited he is. He's done good work, though. And I don't think this is just him. I think this is his whole family. Oh, no. He hasn't done any of this, has he? Never mind. This was all done for him. He's trying to grow his mustache to be like his proud father. I understand better. Yes, that must be a magpie. Taking the shiniest metal. Yeah, I gotta go get that bird. Mapo tofu. Ooh, that sounds delicious, gatekeeper. You're also crying, but you've been observing. <laughs> totally fine, Umi. Totally fine. This guy. Yeah, you should listen to her. Interesting. That was like 
a chain. She's like, no, don't do this. And the kid's like, can we play? And he's like, no, don't do this. Like, he's just passing along that bitterness. But, like, maybe he's not so bitter. I think he's just in his own world, like everyone else in this game is. He doesn't! He does not know how to use the shotgun. He's not his father. He's not. You're playing The Sims! Ooh, nice, Breezy. Very nice. I hope you're enjoying it. She's got some chili bean paste. <gasps> nice! I've never cooked with chili bean paste before. Oh, it's so shiny. He's trying again. Alright. He shouldn't have, but... More like building furnishing than actual playing? That is playing. That's totally playing. There are like three different types of simmers. There's... Oh, he's in that one. There's, uh... There's those who play, like, the life. They, like, play through the lives. There's people who build, and there are the people who go make characters. Like, the people who play with casts. So, I totally say that counts. Hey, Dennis! How's it going? How's your weekend been? Let's call our dog. Doggy, doggy, doggy! Ah! Oh, this is really interesting. So I can't call my dog while he's playing soccer with the boy, but the boy has to play soccer so that the woman can get the rope because then he won't be playing kite. And she needs that so that she can bundle up her furniture in her truck. This is very interesting. I think I need the dog to like... <laughs> Interesting. If we had the dog, I wonder if this would change everything. All right, let's see if we can leave. I can see he's in this tree. We're just going to be shooting the trees. <laughs> shooting the apples. You're doing okay? Oh, it's good to hear. Just woke from a nap. Nice. Yeah. I know I'm having a great weekend. I've been wanting to play this game for over a year. I'm so excited. Hi. You're moving. She does not give him the time of day. He just wants to impress her. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> She's so absorbed in her own, like, unrequited love life that she can't even, like, befriend this guy. Huh. How will I get through here? Alright, let's, uh... Huh. We'll have to go around. I like the building a lot, Breezy. I'm with you on that, you and Umi. Is this a path? No. How? How do I get through here? Let's see if there's like a way around the side of the house. I didn't actually explore his entire yard, so it's possible he has, like, another path. Ah, it looks like he does. Great. Let's open that gate down there, uh, so that we can unlock things. Who is this? Is this me? Yeah! What memory did I just unlock? Oh my gosh! That's him as a kid! Playing soccer with our main character, and his dad is like, No! Soccer is frivolous! You can't do that! Bah! With his mustache. <laughs> I bet his dad was really strict, and that's why he wants to, like... 
I don't know, make him, uh, just be like him? Here, we'll open this first. There. So easy when you're on the right side. Okay. He's got terrible aim. Why is he trying to shoot a... Sh like, you shouldn't be using a shotgun at this distance anyways, right? Like, that's too close. Hey, it's the dog! And it says, no dogs. And it goes to its nest. I see. Alright, let's see if we can talk to the dog. Hey, dog. When I say come, aren't you supposed to listen to me? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have to change things again. I think the dog is the key to this. That tree falling on it weakened the land. All right. So, these are our choices. He's playing soccer and he's gonna end up in the road. She's gonna notice though, because her furniture is not gonna spill everywhere, but it's not gonna matter because he's gonna fall. Or the land he's standing on is gonna fall. That mustache is top tier. Top tier mustache, for sure. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to get this medal back. My father's biggest medal. Makes me more of a man to get it back. And wood wax again. Nice, Sav. Nice. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to do this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no, are we gonna have to play as... Are we gonna have to rewind the woman first to get the rope back? Because she's got the rope. In her picture. We'll see. Maybe there's a different way that we can end the kid's day. Aside from playing with the dog. But it's like only soccer or kite for him. There's no other options. Soccer or kite. Um. I didn't open that, but it is the kid. Okay, so I can go around and get the other kid's memory. Now that we've unlocked the other gate. Has she already wrapped her stuff up? Is Missy going around, like, getting the rope right now? Do we have to beat her to it? Here, we'll go in here. We'll grab the memory from the kid. Hmm. I like the water pump right there. Look at all these big pumpkins. They're bigger than his head, and his head is basically a pumpkin. All right, we can unlock this now. Five out of 20. All right, so let's see what memory that one is. Oh. I think this is when oh, the kid leaves and gives him that hat. What? Oh my gosh. Kid, that's such a nice gift. No wonder he hasn't taken it off. He misses his friend so much. Whose memory is back here? The old man. Okay. And then this is the gunman. 
The neighbor with the gun. Let's see if there are more of these vases we can knock down. Unlock any more areas. I think there were some over this way. Now that we have the soccer ball. It's interesting that, like, here we've got this time loop, but certain things actually remain the same. It's very gardens between of it. Yeah, we can knock this down. Yeah! <laughs> is this us? This is us. Thank goodness. Okay. What memory is this? Oh, it's the third one. So we have them playing ball together in the treehouse, causing a lot of ruckus, knocking down all those vases. And that's the poor old man. <laughs> oh no, they shattered his window though. And I think the kid got in a lot of trouble. Is that why they moved? Oh no. I don't know. All right. Uh, so there's one more of his memories that's just like chilling around. She doesn't yet have the rope. I think she won't have the rope unless we choose it. All right. So what we should go do is get the rope. She's going to cause their accident. And then, uh, we'll at least be able to get the dog when we rewind, uh, as the neighbor. Look at that sunset. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Kartacha, hello! This is not an adventure game, it's a story game, as Saf said. Uh, it's called The Last Day of June, and June is this man's wife, and she dies. It's her last day, and so we're revisiting the last day of June to see if we can do anything to change how it came out. All right, let's get this kite. Yeah, we know from there, so we can just end the day. It's gonna take hers out. Oh, it didn't. But she doesn't have the rope. There aren't two ropes. A summer game, good vibe, yeah. Oh, that's how it is then, yeah. I know, it's devastating. It's a game about learning to deal with love and loss. So, right now, uh, the husband, the main character, we haven't seen him yet. But, uh, I mean, you haven't seen him yet, Kartacha. We will soon. But he's trying to figure out what went wrong and see if he can, like, make different, like, if different choices had been made. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, there was only one card behind that, which means there are only two options for the kid and for her. There is a third option for the gunman that we don't know yet. Oh. Creeping up on that bird's nest. <laughs> the bird's not even there. Why is he creeping? Oh. Oh, it's so unsteady. Oh no. He doesn't cause that landslide though. All right. Well, she still's not going to have the rope. This is this is the husband. He's paralyzed from the crash. So, we're trying to stop the car crash. His wife was in the car with him. Whew. This time we're gonna get the dog. We're gonna call the dog and the dog's gonna come. And we're gonna get that bird out of that tree. But there are two other options of things that could happen and it looks like only one for the old man. So everything really relies on this guy. Close the door so that it can't, uh... Oh, there's the dog. Ho ho ha! Yeah, close the door so the bird can't get in and steal any more medals. 
Come here, doggy. Yeah, doggy, you. Look, he's so cute. Oh, look, he scared him with the feathers. All right, let's go up to this tree. Come on, doggy. Come with me. Maybe she won't move away if she learns the hunter likes her. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. That's something. Oh, I forgot to call the dog. Let's actually go say hi to her. Hello. Hi. She's like, no. Look at that hip. She's like, that's like a please ignore me hip. <laughs> please go away. <laughs> Let's call the dog again. Doggy! 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 You're supposed to come! Was I actually supposed to, like, call him... Oh, I see the dog's not allowed at these trees, but maybe this one. Is this gonna make a difference? I don't know, he has the dog, but... I don't think I changed anything. Yeah, I didn't. So we're gonna have to replay his day again. I think I didn't use the dog enough. I, I'm pretty sure I failed the sequence. Yeah. Uh. Oh, this hurts a little bit. <laughs> Failing. Yeah, I think I need to get the dog to ruffle more of the bird's feathers. Okay, we failed. I know, I'm so sorry you had to relive that. Let's try this again. I think I needed to call the dog sooner. Before he left the yard. I don't think the dog's allowed to leave the yard. Unless I go around the, if I don't go through the front gate, but go around, maybe? It's puzzle involving guiding the bird. Yeah, if we call the bird to the tree we know it's going to be at. Ah, yes. Haha. -ha. All right, let's call the dog over here. The bird won't go in this tree. Marmike, you're really on to something. What is this man? Is he a time magician or something? Uh, either... So his wife, June, made those paintings. So either those paintings are magic, or he somehow has magic after his accident, um, or she didn't actually die in that car crash, which is a leading theory. Marmike was the first one to say that. Alright, that's... Helped a little, but not quite enough. So I remember this was the tree that he had been at earlier. Can I call my dog over here? No, no dog. But I can call the dog here. Dog can go here. Interesting. So I wondered, like, why the dog wasn't allowed at certain trees, but was it others? All right. So bird can't go there. <laughs> Why are you shooting at the bird in the tree? Why can't you just, like, throw an apple at it? It's showing there's, like, more apple trees this way. Alright, let's see what happens if we shoot it. I mean, that's a better place for it to go. 
Let's, uh, let's... We could shoot it there. Here, let's uh, let's wander around for a bit. I know there are some memories. We have no memories of him. I mean, we have one. We have one memory of him. I think there's one by the grandpa's house and there's one by the kid's house, or at least the house next to the kid's house. Psychosis from grief. Yeah, that's, that's that could be it. It's easier to script that way, yeah. Mustache. All right. I'm wondering if the kid has to like knock down some of these in order to open that gate. We'll see. That'll be on onto the kid. The kid's way. I think there's one back here though that might be of him. <laughs> Oh, can't, can't go back there and see the kid. Alright. His laughter! Oh, he's so happy! Wow, you can see the, the metal flashing really brightly. I think there might be one up here. This Or is that the old man? That's the old man. Yeah, that's not us. Okay, it would be blue, I think, if it were us. So one back here. Oh my gosh, I never noticed this. This is a gate. Oh. It needs a key? <gasps> the old man has a key. He's got a key on his, like, waistband. I'm on the right track with the bird. Thanks, Saf. I think I am too. Oh, there's one for us. I want to collect as many of these memories and then play through the rest of the day. Hopefully the bird... I know we're not going to have solved it. Because, uh, she doesn't have- Missy doesn't have the, uh, the rope. Or can we greet them? Can we say hello? <laughs> they think he's a laughing stock. Oh, no wonder he doesn't really, uh, pay attention to them. That little devilish laughter, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shoot the old man. No, Cartacha, I like the old man. I like him the least, this guy right here, but uh but he's growing on me, I have to say. Is there anything back here? That belongs to the man. There's like one more spot too. I want to see if there's something near No, I don't see anything. Maybe something um by the end part, by the road. Hi, dog. Hi, doggy. Yeah, we successfully guided it away from here, so it's not going towards its nest. So hopefully that'll be enough. It won't make us uh, fail the sequence again. I think we did. I think we did better. Yeah, there's its nest. I'm not seeing any memories. So, let's play out this day and see what happens. Okay. All right. Oh, I love that I can just see this bird thing through other trees. That's pretty cool. Doggy, you ready? Hey, Missy. Missy, are you gonna be impressed with me now? Watch me shoot the bird. I can do it, I can do it. You got this. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, wow, because the apples fell into the basket, it opened this whole area. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to keep calling the dog. And, oh man, um. We'll call him to this tree. Okay. Yay! Alright, try again. 
Where's it? Oh, it went to that one? Okay, I guess that was a gamble. I didn't really know. I picked one tree. Alright, we'll call the dog here. And then hope it tries to go to this one again. It might go to that one, but... What did the other memories do? Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! I will I will definitely look at the memories. Did I trap the bird? Okay, memories. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So his dad's not letting him play with uh with our main character here. Oh my gosh, that's quite the bucket of the basket of weapons. Alright, he's uh he has to be like the toady for his dad, carrying everything around. He grew up, and they shot an elephant, and the elephant also doesn't have eyes. That's not fair. He couldn't see them. But like, ooh, okay. I think I see another memory, too, in the distance. I, like, saw the blue glint up there. Yeah. I don't know how to get up there yet, though. So where are the birds here now? There's, like, four. I can't do all of them. Is there something up here that's going to, like help guard the bird. Oh, there's two memories. So I think we can finish the memories. There's another rope! I guess he doesn't want to go through any of those gates. This is, this is interesting, though. Okay, he can go through this one. Now that we're up here, we know we can get... Oh, we need the kids to knock that vase over. Now that we're back here, we know that uh, there's another rope. Which means all is not failed. We have hope. You think you know, but you won't spoil. Okay, Kartacha, I appreciate that. Alright. Where are you going, bird? To that one now. So it went from this one to that one. Here, uh, let's call the dog up here. Hope that we keep like shifting the bird that way. I'm just not really sure the pattern it's in yet. Okay, bird, leave. Give me my metal back. Good. Oh, I picked correctly. I picked correctly. Oh, come on, bird. I went over here. So let's, uh, let's call the dog here. See if that fixes it. The bird seems to go to the nearest tree without the dog. I know. So what am I supposed to do besides keep shooting at the, uh, the tree? Oh, there we go. We did. We did do it. Okay. So we got him out successfully. So I think it was a pattern. I think that the bird was following a pattern, and that was the last part of the pattern. Okay. The dog can't go here. I don't see any other trees, so I think this might be it. Just drop the metal. Wait, it has a separate nest? What? It has another nest? Okay, he can go through this now. That's good. Maybe he was hearing those birds. I know! What kind of bird has two nests? Oh no. Oh, but there's a rope. He's like, I don't know what to do with this. Rope? <laughs> what do I need for rope? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what is this? Is this gate? So clearly we can't get through that gate until we have the kid knock down these vases. But how am I supposed to end the day? I 
I feel like I'm at an impasse. How are we supposed to end the day if I'm not able to go through here? I guess we have to go back? Rich bird, large Landover, definitely Cartacha. Polygamous magpie. <laughs> it is. It is. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're, you know, polygamous. Hey, doggy, you are great. I... I wonder if there's a way... Did I get another memory? No, we didn't have access to it. Go back to the rope? Okay. He said no, but I'll go back to it. I wish we could, like, pick it up and give it to the woman, but he doesn't know she needs it. How's it going, doggy? How is it going? Okay. Rope. Yeah, he's like, I don't know what to do with this thing. Yeah, it's glowing right here. But I can't open this. Because there's that, like, vase in the way. Really poor... Poor placement for that vase. I can't shoot it. There's no option for me to shoot the vase. If only. Past it, go to the right. What do you mean, past it, go to the right? Like this area over here? Oh, hey! Oh, good call, Saf. <laughs> Oh, this is treacherous. Oh my gosh, at least there was a hay bale there. Thank you, Saf. <gasps> Doggy! Doggy cares so much. Alright, we found the second ending. He's in hay. She still has an untied truck, but now we know. What we can do is we can play through her now and get that second rope. If we get the second rope, then uh, maybe we won't have any of these problems. That's probably where the old man will come in. He'll probably end up doing something. Oh, every time, every time! Okay, we'll play as her. We're gonna get that rope. And after we get the rope, we'll see what happens. Cause I think it should solve everything, except for what we don't already know. He still has one ending left. The, uh, the gunman. All right. Let's see. All right, she's got this. We're gonna. Oh. She, he's right behind her, or he was. I thought. Oh, that's right. We do have to go this way, but he's a bit a ways away. All right. <sighs> this game is cool. Yeah. How much more do I plan to play for today? I think I'm close to the end, Kartacha. I think I'm gonna play to the end. Uh, this game has like a three to four hour playtime to it, and it's been about two and a half hours for me. So I think, I think I'm gonna just finish it today. That's, that's definitely the goal. Yeah! She's got like such a prim and proper walk. She's like, very prim in her heels. All right, this is where the rope is. Thank goodness this town has another rope. Oh no. But the dog, I think I'm gonna have to use it to help him. Hi. What's wrong? That's a loyal dog right there. Like Lassie.
You can like hear him grumbling. I can't see him though. Oh, there he is. Hey there. The poor dog. He's so worried. Ooh, memory. What's her memory? So they moved from the city to this new place. Oh no, and then she sees him. She loves him, the guy with the big glasses. She loves him. And she's there on his wedding day. Oh man, rough. That's rough, buddy. All right, well, we've got a rope though. That's really what matters. We've got ourselves a rope. There is another memory of memory of her here. Which one is this? Ah, the second one. Oh, they were in school together, and that's when she got her crush on him. Is that June in the background drawing? Maybe that's June. Maybe they were all in class together. The one person we don't get to play with, it looks like, is actually June. Which is a shame. We got a rope, though. Rope is what we need. I think we solved it. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, gosh. What else can go wrong? <gasps> I don't know what I can do, dog. She's moving and the dog needs help. Oh, it's making me so sad! To go through those gates. I think, I think you're right, Marmike, about that. This should work. This should work, though. There's nothing that we know of that would cause an accident now. It's just about this old man. I think we're gonna be introduced to him next. Wait, what? Oh no! Oh no! The dog! No, doggy, no! How ironic. Back to the kid, knock the vase, and then go to the old man. Yeah, okay. Oops. Yeah, let's knock... Let's knock the vases down. Well, I think actually we have to knock the vases down for the gunman, and then he can get the nest with the metal. Rocks fall, everybody dies. I know, gatekeeper, right? Gatekeeper. <laughs> oh. oh, and then go back to the gunman. Sorry, I read that as old man, Marmike. So, so sorry about that. <laughs> You're totally spot on. Oh, the sad kid. He's still missing his friend. Still wearing his friend's hat. It's that wind. That wind caused all of this. <laughs> Alright. New areas open. Let's do this, kid. All right. No, it's this way. It's this way. I had an action there. Did I miss the action? I thought I had done the action. Your food turned out so good. I was just about to ask, gatekeeper. That's exciting. Oh, man. I'm glad to hear it. Nice dinner. Alright. Oh, I had an action option. Did I saff with the dog? He can't open the strong gates? Oh, Marmike, it's not about the, the, the rope at this point. Because the woman can get the rope herself. This is about... All we have to do for this, I think to make it a successful run... What is to like knock down these vases and then just go back to the kite and knock the kite down from the tree. And then 
We can go play as the gunman. Yeah. We can play as the gunman. And he can get the medal. And then I think that should solve everything. That'll be his third ending. I think I think he's in, he's supposed to be down there right now. Can't get that. There was an E action by the dog? There was? I thought I had, like, said something to the dog. Oh, man. I missed it. Press E to rescue Human. I missed it. I missed that chance. Maybe she would have fallen in love with him. I don't know. What's up there? What's up there? Hehehe. <laughs> Right. Oh, this is pretty. You can see the storm, though. Ooh, frightening. All right. So we know where the last memory is then for the gunman. I think that was all we needed to do as the kid. I don't see any other vases to get. Can we... I don't think we can help the dog as the kid. We can run as him, though. He's the only one who can run. Of all the characters. Oh, hey, there's something of his. Up there in that gazebo. Maybe we'll find out what happened to his friend. Play? No. Oh, she's so shy and nervous. Oh, hey. Let's just knock it down for the sake of it. <laughs> I just startled the living daylights out of her. Oh my gosh. She is easily startled. Alright, let's go in the gazebo. Look how much food the dog has. Oh, hey! Was June making this? Does he know that June was making this? Okay, let's look at that memory. I think we found all the memories for the kid. We did. Okay. He had a friend that he loved to play with. They got into so much trouble together. And then the kid broke a window, and that's not good. He moved. He ended up moving away with his family. Oh, and the kid... The grandpa felt bad, and so he, like, offered to play kite with him. I think he gave him his kite. That's really sweet. That, okay, well, that was nice. Look at the dog has, like, two food bowls. One is tall. Oh, no, that must be water. They're both filled with grass, though. Hope the, uh, hope the dog doesn't mind grass. I don't think he will. Bye, lady. Sorry, I scared you. Okay. So, she is going to get the rope. We're going to end the day as the kid. And then we'll go back and play as the gunman. Yeah. Okay. He's still in the hay. We got to get him out of that hay. His hat, his shirt is just like a meh face. It's a meh smiley face. <laughs> nice. So I guess that always has to be the red rope. Since he wouldn't ever be able to get that blue one. Which means the blue one's always been intended for Missy. So the dog, it's gonna be the dog. I feel like she couldn't do anything to help him. Like she had the rope, but there wasn't a place to tie the rope off. And like the dog was trying to tell her something and she's just like, I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. Oh, doggy. Oh, June. Alright. We gotta do his. 
This should do it, though. This should solve it. Because now we can get all of his memories. And we can get, uh, the metal. So then he won't have a need to fall. He won't be trying to take the precarious way. It's kind of clever how this, uh, how this goes. Can he run? Can he run too? I want to see if he can run. Ugh, it's the puzzle again. Oh, we can! Look at his run! Oh my gosh! He has the best run of everybody. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> I love it. Alright, we're calling the dog here. Alright, we're gonna shoot this. Dork run confirmed. Oh, it's the best run. Great, okay. Perfect, I don't have to go through the whole puzzle again. Thank goodness. So we should be able to open all of these gates now. Let's do the dork run. Especially through this tall grass. How else are you supposed to run through tall grass? Alright, here we go. Is this ending the day? Yeah. So let's get this memory. We got another memory to get over here. And that's all of his memories. I believe. I believe it's all of his. Well, this is exciting. Cool. Oh, got stuck. Doing his, like, army run. Oh, he's, like, running up twice through the stairs. Alright, memories. So his father wouldn't let him play, like, with normal kids. He had to go hunting with him. He's the same age in here, it looks like. Oh, he's so bored watching his father hunt. But I think as he grows up, he's, like, trying to make his father proud. Because, like, he's not glancing at the camera. He's glancing at his father. Oh. I guess maybe this was him trying to make his father proud. And, like, while he was alive, it never really happened. But then he, like, got a hunting trophy and, like, shows it to his father's grave. Aw. Everyone in this is so sad. All right. Run down the stairs. Run! Let's go get that metal and see how that changes things. Doggy! He and the doggy should be fine now. After this metal. Which means we're just playing as the, the grandpa. Who gave... He's the one who gave the gift to the main character in the first place for his birthday. And we never got to see what was inside it. He's just gonna let them keep it, isn't he? Is he adopting the birds? Wait, what? I forgot to check what time it was. It's six o'clock, I think. Alright, so this is... These are the good endings of all of those. And we don't have the grandpa yet. So let's take a look at June. A birdhouse! Aww. Okay, because there's no landslide. She's moving on. It looks like they side like swipe each other, but they don't. They're just not good drivers. <laughs> I know, isn't this sweet gatekeeper? I know he stopped hunting. Kartacha, it's so nice. Maybe he's trying to make amends. I know, I thought it was perfect too. You have to remember, though. You have to remember what happened. June again? Okay, it's June. Look how nice she looks. Alright. Oh. 
Alright, are you gonna are you gonna remember everything this time? <gasps> there was no kid playing in the road. There was no boxes. And there was no landslide. Is she even in the car? Okay, she is. She's in the car. Ooh, this storm looks really bad. Really nasty. Oh. That was dangerous, June, but sweet. It was just lightning? It was just his fault? He can't blame anybody but himself? Oh gosh, they ended up in the, the river, or the lake, or whatever that is. Ooh. Huh. Like the windshield. Oh no, all of his memories are like cracking. All right, he's gotta go out and find. Right, I'm really intrigued too, I wanna know. It was just meant to be, it might, it might be. I think we have to go find the grandpa. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay. Yeah, there are like no more memories. It's just this. I wonder how, if he had a wife or something and she died and like he might be able to help help him like work through things. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't know how I could forget. I feel bad. All right. It's a good thing that he has, like, doors and ground level, though. Right? Isn't this intense? Oh, man. Maybe he's getting dementia, and she never died at all, but he's the one that died? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, maybe she's just upstairs. Um, no. <laughs> um... Gosh, that would be really, really deep. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what happened on last day of June. There's only one ending, and I think this is the ending. So we're just gonna have to play through it. Save her. Coming from the wisest, the presumably wisest person in this entire town. I want him to be able to look at that painting and see June again, and not just the way she died. <laughs> What is that? So that's like the second time we've heard what sounded not like a car accident. Look, he wrapped that present for him and everything. He is the old man and he lives in his memories reliving the trauma. Whoa, Cartacha, that's deep. You think he died or he's in a coma dream and in the dream. She dies and he's trying to find out what. Oh, I like that, Marmike. I don't know. I don't know. June answers, though. Maybe
Maybe it's not his birthday, maybe it's an anniversary. Maybe it's their anniversary, and for their anniversary, she wants them to go to their spot on the dock. You can hear his heartbeat. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It feels like it is turning into like a horror game. Wait, there's one more? Okay, I guess it makes sense. We would have to play through his. He's got memories too. The key. We have to use that key. That's where we need to go, but let's walk around first. Oh, I wish he could just open that with his cane. That would have been amazing. I'm not sure how to get back there yet. What is going on? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Oh, I want to go back there. He's got a memory. It's so tantalizing. You think she was murdered, Kartacha? Maybe. I mean, it's always possible. Alright, there's a memory up there. So who... Who lives up here if he lives in there? Whose house is this? Is this just like the windmill or something? Is like some public... House? He's walking pretty quickly for someone who's, uh, using a cane. And he can run! Look at that! Look, there's a key. We totally get to open this. Alright, let's see what this memory is. He, he is very spry. Okay. Memories. He had a wife too. Like I thought. I'm thinking something happened to her. Okay. Yeah, he's got memories on this path. So let's see what this one is. They're flowers. She must have been quite the gardener. Oh no! She... And he together worked, they worked together to make those vases. Oh no, no wonder, no wonder he got so upset when the kid and his friend ran over the vases. She must have been gone at that part already. Oh no. All right, ah, it's a graveyard. This, that must be the church. And this is the graveyard behind it. Oh my gosh. Is this where June is? <laughs> is June already here? Right? Right, Saf? Oh man. Oh, and as the kid, you just so callously and excitedly, like, just knock them right over. Alright, we're getting this memory too, and then we'll look at both of them. We're so close to getting all of them. I'm missing two from her. I don't know where they are. She had glasses too. And they, look at their, their shared hobby. I don't know what happened, but she died. Oh, a picture of her with her flowers. And he's, he is not very he, he he seems spry but he's kneeling for her like that's sweet Aww.
I'm not crying. <laughs> Man, this game. All right. Is this a? Uh... I don't think I'm able to go through that gate. Is this hers over here with the candle? This must be hers. Yeah, this is hers right here. Well, that was very nice. <laughs> really sad. I see, this is, uh, this is Gunman's father. Oh, with the trophy. With the trophy. <laughs> oh, right, Marmike? Oh, man. <laughs> I knew, I knew too. I knew I was gonna cry at this game at some point. All right, let's uh, let's leave the cemetery for now. <laughs> oh man, the music right now too is perfect. Like just the chords. All right. Is there a path down the other way? I thought I made it all the way to the end, but, uh, we can run with him. Look at his knees! Look at his knees go! Oh my gosh! You got this! You got this, Grandpa! No, no path over here. We'll, we'll see what's at the other- maybe there is a way through this gate. To the left. This one. Yeah, I didn't see a key, so I think- I think it's boarded up. I think the only way you're supposed to get through this is, um... Huh. Who used to live there? Interesting. Yeah. I figured it was, like, the easiest, like, gate. Like, only one entrance and you had to have the key and you had to have, like, the old man play it. So let's try to view this better now. So... That's the road. The bottom house must be the gunman's house. The house with the tree must be Missy's house. The green roof house must be um, June and her husband's. And then that in the pink is like the ruins area. So the orange part must be the cemetery. I see. Okay. Oh, and then there's the lookout at the top. Okay, okay. I'm starting to like really get a sense. It's taken me four characters <laughs> to finally feel like I'm getting it, but alright, so we have one more to go, and I think I'm fairly certain we need to go towards the, uh what are you doing out here? Oh, is she working up the nerve to go in? Hi. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She doesn't want him to know. Oh. All right. Oh, interesting. So none of these things have happened, so I actually can't get up there. Where else is there to go with him? I feel like there's something else. Unless I am just supposed to go and knock on their door. Hey! It's the dog! And the gunman! Oh, he's laughing at him. He just laughs at everybody, doesn't he? The old man. Oh, there- oh, that's right. The final memory is there. I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to access that. Can I go through his house? Oh, I guess that's- that's the way. I just go inside. Oh, hey! 
there's a ladder to the roof. <gasps> oh! This is so sweet and sad. All right, cool. We can just go around the back. That's nice. That's much easier than uh, having to get the kid to play again. Oh, he lives in the windmill. I see. That's why it's so uh, creaky sounding and why there's like a ladder going up there. And these are like the last of her vases. I'm glad I don't need to break anymore now that I know the, uh, the relevance. Okay. Thanks, staff. What's this third memory? Oh no, she was sick! She was really sick, she's hooked up to an IV. But he brought her a flower. He kept gardening for her. That's sweet. That's sweet. Sweet and sad. Aww. I'm just missing the two, yeah, I'm just missing the two from, uh, Missy. That's it. But I think... I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to go through them. This might be the end of, uh... End of the game. Now that we know all of this... I think we just have to go and see June. To give the present. Hey, kid. <laughs> Play? Play? No. All right, let's, uh, let's say hi to June. Interesting. These must be her last moments. It sounds like- it sounds like she's going through birth or something. Did I fail again? Oh, is the day not over? No, I failed. I failed it. What do I have to do differently? Do it again? I didn't fail? Oh. The world is crumbling. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thanks, Saf. Does he notice the gunman? Is this just something that we notice? He knows. I think the old man knows. Did? This is crazy. So did he actually die? And like, she's mourning him and this is her world? Like, what? We have to like, at all costs, just try to give this to her. Kid still wants to play. I think we're, okay, we're hearing her last breath. So that's what you think? I am. I'm wondering if she died from childbirth, but like, then why is there a car accident still? <laughs> this doesn't sound like someone who's about to drown. Again? I have to go through this again? Oh my gosh. Can I hit? I don't know if I can handle this. This is so much. Oh. It's like really effective hearing this superimposed over seeing her. Like the world is crumbling.
I think my only way is to go back through the house. And Stephen Wilson's music is getting louder. Can I open the chest? I want to, like, rifle through his things. <laughs> Find some way out of this. I know, Saf. Oh. There's no way through over here, so it must be this other way. Oh, did I notice this path before? I don't think this path existed. Oh, yeah, because it's just covered. All right. Well, at least we can open the door from this side. The gate. This might trigger everything. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. I have to go this way. Because that way is cut off. Bye, doggy. I love you. Yeah, at least it's the last replay. It feels like that, doesn't it? Nope. Oh my gosh. We can hope it's the last replay. Oh man, I don't know if there's like really any other like ways around. Nope, that tree that house is falling too. Everything is crumbling out of existence. Like nothing else matters now that June's gone. The time like circles collapsing. Oh, I like the way you think, Saf. He only had so many replays. That was your point, no other route. Okay. Yeah. He's like urgently like knocking now. <laughs> So Kartacha, that's not the vibe I've been getting from this game. I think it's more like life is life and life happens. This is eerie. It's like everyone's mirrored. Is he gonna disappear? I wonder if these are her heartbeats. Yeah, I think it's just everything happens and just some things you can't change. Like, no matter how many what-ifs you have. June now? 
Because that was another, that was another memory option. No. I, I guess we are. I guess we are playing as June. Or... Huh? We're playing as him? Huh? Uh. Aww. I'd rather, I think, see him on the- on here. So... Is that June? No, this is her. She's... Got the wrench thing. Oh my gosh, the world is falling away. Yeah, I'd rather see her on her bike. Over here. And then... Is that the gunman? Yeah, with the bird. This is the old man. Try again. Okay, interesting. Instead of shooting at the bird, shoot confetti. And love. I guess it just looks like love when you put it like that. <laughs> Is this all I can do? And the grandpa. Okay, so it's all the characters and then him. Let's try this again. I think we're just trying to, like, make changes, but it's not going to matter. It's all going to happen the same way that it does. This is really interesting, but I think it's belaboring the point of it. Oh, he's so lonely. Oh, I guess we're seeing what was happening before, though. Oh, yeah, this is another what if. What if he got her to play with him? You know, what if uh, he was shooting off confetti instead of shooting at the, uh, I don't know, maybe he would have seen her differently. Is that a toy gun? Yeah. I switched his gun and so he's still sleeping. That was a nice wake up instead of a jump scare. There's no other option. This is always going to happen. It's like they're tantalizing us with a, like another choice, but like nothing that we do is going to change this. Gosh, the world is like dark. I'm not sure what else to do. I've changed all of these things. Did I do this in like the wrong order or something? What else disappeared? I feel like something else has disappeared. Um, I guess what happens if he's outside here? I don't I don't know. I really don't think that anything we do is going to change things considering he's still going to be around giving the gift. I guess there is. Yeah, gatekeeper and Kartacha. I guess you guys are right. So we'll see what happens with him playing out here. Oh, interesting. Interesting. She doesn't seem to have any hard feelings towards June. Missy. He's still sleeping. They're chatting. He's so lonely! 
Is he gonna break the window or something? Oh, he is. So that wakes him up. And she doesn't put the present down. Like maths, different permutations and stuff. Yeah! Like, he had the idea, too. Yeah. So... It was gonna happen, yeah. I just got the achievement. You could not stop this. <laughs> oh, man. This, this is going to happen. This is inevitable. No matter how many what-ifs we entertain, this is gonna happen. You can't change time. Even when you're a Time Lord. <laughs> Ooh. It's time locked. It certainly is, Saf. Certainly is. <sighs> right, Steam. Alright. He's resigned, though. He's resigned. I think when we go to look at the, uh, at the paintings in the room... I think, I think he's going to see June. You have to do it. You have to get it. This is your life now. I'm really sorry to say. What's happening? I know, right? This is it. This is his life. This is the aftermath. The final stage of grief. Yeah. Acceptance. Is that the final stage of grief? <sighs> we see him. We see him. Her and her. Let's, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen if I do this. Forget back. Forget? We don't want to forget any of these. I guess we have to, though. We're gonna forget this first. Well, we're gonna deal with this. We're forgetting all of them. And we were doing so much to remember. I wanna forget him last. We'll forget him next. Yeah! Feel good, doesn't it? Is this the anger stage? The anger stage for you? He hasn't accepted it yet. Is he gonna see all of like her paintings on the floor and that's tragic and he like broke the last things of hers? We'll find out. Well, he unlocked the door. Uh oh. 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 I was like definitely expecting some like horror trope thing to happen. He's gotta go up there. Ooh. Ooh. All right. <sighs> it's coming from their bedroom. Or is this the canvas room? The nursery? This is the nursery? <gasps> she's right there! And she's still there! Wait! This is all in his head, right? She's gonna be gone? This is him, like, imagining life if it were back to normal. 
I know, Saf, right? Look at the little onesies! Oh my gosh! Yeah, she's not there. <gasps> the drawing! <gasps> So this was everything that we changed. Who did this? Who did this? This was June, wasn't it? This was June feverishly going back over and over. Or did he do this? I can't tell. Accept. We got to accept it. It was June trying to th change things, so June had to accept it. Oh, it's the rain! It's gonna start soon. She's still wearing that purple, pretty, the pretty purple flower I gave her. I'm glad I know how to like move things now, move the camera. It makes it much easier to go up this hill. He still can't run though. <laughs> He's still, this is his running speed. Ooh, and he's getting a bad feeling about it too. He doesn't want to get in the car. go over and like open her door instead and say get out oh. I can't believe that actually worked oh. he's gonna drive or she's gonna drive he's letting her drive I don't think this is gonna change things but like she certainly will see better also, they should both put seatbelts on. Tell her. Wait. What's he telling her? Oh, that there's something coming up and she has to watch out. Tell her now. Tell her. She has to stop. You have to tell her. We're here. Tell her to stop. just keeps pulling the rug out from under you. <laughs> Each time it just gives you more hope. Alright, where are we now? <sighs> I think we have to go towards the smoke. Alright, so let's just do it. He can't run towards this either. He just doesn't want to run to anything. Oh my gosh, this must be their car. Yep. Oh, and there she is. Hey, June. She's the only thing in color and everything else is black and white. 
Makes her feel like she's the only thing that's real. Maybe, or maybe it's not, maybe it's not like that he never showed her affection, but just that he, uh, wishes he had more time. The present! What is it? What is it? They're never gonna show us the present, are they? This is not even from her, it's from the grandpa. Unless... She asked him to make it for her. Which could have been. In which case it would have been for him. Twist! Marmike, you called it all along! Didn't you say that uh, he actually died? Maybe not all along, but you called it. Oh, and she's pregnant! <laughs> you gotta head off. Okay, Breezy, you have a great, great, great rest of your night. Thank you so much for being here for this. Oh, man. Oh. His glasses. It makes sense that his glasses would be put over the grave. There's that bird! Don't steal those glasses, bird. Oh! Saf! They're each in a different timeline. They both lived and died. I love that. I love that. That's kind of like the show, I think it was called After? It had Jason Isaacs in it. And it followed a similar premise where he was in a car accident and uh, he, he ended up in two different timelines um, and he switched between them every time he slept and woke up but in one his wife died and his son lived and in the other his wife lived and his son died and like it was just interesting watching him like have these two different lives yeah hey O Mueller and Steven Wilson's drive home video oh man Gatekeeper, that was a rough one. Oh, that was a rough one. That was the first one that actually like really got to me that I've streamed. They were friends. They were friends. Oh man, no wonder she needs to move. She has no idea, does she? Her grief and frustration not being able to save him in her timeline. Interesting. I like that take. I like that a lot. And it does, it reminds me a lot of Up. But more tragic. <laughs> oh, the poor kid. The poor baby. The kid. So it's Carl, it's June, it's the kid, the best friend, the hunter, and the old man. You thought about up to- it was the chairs! It was the chairs, Umi! I thought the same thing! I was like, chairs! You're more confused than you were when you started watching. Oh, yeah. Kartacha, what- is there anything that I might be able- or like one of the viewers can help you understand? The universe bubble in which they both lived was a time-like circle that slowly collapsed. The car wreck was right before it expired, and they said goodbye to each other for the last time. Separated by death, Sarah! Doggy! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Bye, Carl! Oh, man! This game! <laughs> I like that. Yes, routine. Ooh, significant other. Okay, nice. The raven that refused to sing. Belle du jour. I don't know that one. Year of the plague. I don't know that one either. Insurgents, I know. 
I don't know. Vene Veneno para las hadas. After Dark. Okay, Haze Shrapnel. Haze 1402. Ghost Part 5. So some of these must have just been for... Yeah, Lost Part 2A, Lost Part 2B. Those must have been just for this game. Deform to form a star, I know. And Track 1. Very cool. They have good fonts in this game, I have to say. Yay to, like, acknowledge the fonts. <laughs> you hate us all. <laughs> I know, Umi, right? Ugh, oh, I hate this game just a little bit right now. Because, oh man, it got me. Oh, it got me. Just more questions and uncertainty of what the author wanted to tell. Cartacha, I feel that. I totally feel that. Um, if anybody is interested, uh, the original video, music video that this was inspired by, um, is called Drive Home, and it's by Stephen Wilson. It's in a very similar art style, and they're based on the same story. He's not there. He's not there. She's just drawing. Wait. <gasps> oh! It's her son! It's Carl Jr. And, oh, and he gave her a purple flower, and she's like, I can't. Oh. This little stinger right at the end. Oh. That was sweet. Well, it's still her spot. It's their spot still. Thanks, Saf. Thanks for posting that. Yeah, so there, that Drive Home, the video, is pretty similar to this video game, but the story is a little different. And I wonder if, uh, for those of you who want to know more about the author of the story's original intention, you might find it in that video. And the Prague Sphere interview, that's another great one. Stephen Wilson and the people who worked on the original video and the people who like worked on the game talk in that. That's a great, great, great interview. He knows someone dies, but he, he wanted it to be him. Oh. Oh, Marmike. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so that that was last day of June. Oh my gosh. I I knew I knew this game was going to be tough. Tough to get through. I I knew it. I figured I would start bawling or something, but like oh man, <laughs> on that note. Whoo, on that heavy note. Bar Mike, I hope that your sleep and the rest of your night is untroubled and smooth and it's just all up from here. If this is the lowest part of everyone's day today, I think it's going to be a very nice day. <laughs> so, very artistic and yet well-written story. It was. I totally agree, Marmike. Good night. Thank you so much for hanging around and just being here. Oh, thank you. And thanks again for the six-month resub. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that story was so heavy. It, like, it's definitely an interesting look at grief and loss and love and you know just just like the the what ifs that you encounter when something of that momentic momentous tragicness occurs <laughs> uh tragic momentumness <laughs> you're not crying kiwi ronicles i'm not crying either <laughs> thank you so much for uh for letting me know that you're here i hope you have a great rest of your day it's gonna be a while before I ever play this game, if I ever play it again. Uh, I was, I was definitely not expecting this much emotion, and I should have. I should have been. I know Stephen Wilson's music. <laughs> I know what I'm getting myself into when I listen to his work. Really good emotional representation of bereavement. Yeah, I I agree. I totally agree. <sighs> I'm I'm really, I'm really grateful that I played it. And I'm really glad that I had all of you guys here with me to experience it with me. This was, this was challenging to get through, but we did it. We did it. And I feel like at least on my part, uh, 
that I have gained something by watching this. So yeah, <laughs> let's take that as our takeaway. I feel like my life is richer because I played this game. So thank you, last day of June. Thank you, Heyo Mueller, for the inspiration in the story. And thank you, Stephen Wilson, for the beautiful music. Whew. Thank you, Staff, for all of these links. Would you mind posting them in the Discord, too, if you haven't already? And that way uh, they can be here after the stream's over for if anyone wants to check them out. Thank you guys so much for the stream. Oh, I'm so, so glad that we did this today. Thank you all. Hearts and waffles hugs. Waffles hugs for everybody. Thank you all so much. Your human half is crying. Oh my gosh, you're right. Because of the tragic story and your gamer half is crying because of the last two memories we didn't get. Oh, I completely forgot about those. You're so right, Kartacha. I wish we'd gotten them too. But that, I guess, just goes to show that uh, I'm going to have to pull this out again sometime. Maybe next year on the last day of June. <sighs> If I've, if I have come to terms with it and can play it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Greatest stream. Thank you so much, Kartacha. I'm so glad that you were here. I'm really grateful all of you guys were here. <laughs> Replay! <laughs> Replay! <laughs> oh, for Carl's sake, right? For Carl's sake, we'll play this again sometime. One day. One far off in the future day. <laughs> Who let's let's find somebody to host. I don't know if I'm up for raiding someone today, but we should find somebody to host. Let's see who's on. I'm gonna be thinking about this all night now. <laughs> oh we've got we got a bunch of friends on. See you all yeah, Umi, we'll see you around. Thank you for being here. Saf, thank you for being here. Kiwi, Kartacha, Marmike. Oh gosh, thank you guys all, all of you for being here. Really, this has been phenomenal. Oh, who, I'm trying to find like, you know, okay. Let's go, let's go host Breezy. Breezy is playing Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that game at all, so I'm intrigued to find out. And Breezy is like so awesome, super great member of this community, and so so generous. So like, let's totally go host Breezy, and uh, she's gonna help lift our spirits <laughs> after this. She was, she was here for a lot of this today, yeah. So let's do it. I'll see all of you guys later. Oh. Oh, and, and I'll be playing tomorrow. Tomorrow, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Kart, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. That's going to be so unemotional compared to this. So <laughs> it's going to be a super great time. I hope all of you have a great rest of your night. And thank you.